More breaking news. The victim of this afternoon shooting in New Bedford has died and charges have been filed. In just the last 20 minutes, investigators confirmed for Eyewitness News the 18-year-old victim passed away at Rhode Island Hospital. Now, the shooting happened this afternoon in the area of South First and Black Mare Streets, seen here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is live at New Bedford Police Headquarters with the breaking details. Jared. Mike and Shannon, that news coming into us, as you say, just minutes ago from the Bristol County District Attorney's Office, and we now know from that office two men are charged in the case. Eyewitness News with the Massachusetts State Police Monday night after a suspected gang shooting in New Bedford South End. Detectives with three explosive sniffing dogs finding a gun hidden in the wall of a pedestrian walkway over Kennedy Memorial Highway. The dogs picking up on the scent of gunpowder. This follows the broad daylight shooting of an 18-year-old man on South First Street in the Ben Rose Housing Complex. Police say he went to Rhode Island Hospital with life-threatening injuries. Several shell casings near a curb between Blackmer and Delano streets. Detectives also focused on a bench area and wall at the complex's basketball courts. A woman who lives in Ben Rose tells Eyewitness News she heard about six gunshots around 2.30 and hit the floor with her young daughter. She says she saw a group running away towards the highway, an area that's now yielded a firearm to be tested for prints and other evidence. New Bedford police saying earlier tonight they had taken three persons of interest, as they called it, in for questioning. We do not have any additional information at this point as to the two men now charged or the nature of those charges. For now, live in New Bedford with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Jared Plenter, Eyewitness News.